Welcome back to the FC24 Political Camera Mode series. Today I'm going to start off with asking you guys a big question and that is what should be our next pass club because there's actually a few 5 star rated teams that do not want me to go straight from the MLS to one of these big clubs. For example Bayern, they would allow me to go there. If we look at Leverkusen, my former team, they would not allow me to go there. So I don't understand why a few of these clubs, for example like Chelsea as well, does not want me to uh, go straight from the MLS. If we also look at PSG, uh, they also are saying, yeah, we're looking for players from more advanced clubs. Um, my opinion is that we should either go to Napoli, which will be a new league. We can either go to Atletico Madrid, which would be back in Spain. Or we can go to Bayern Munich, which is obviously a massive club in Bundesliga. I would kind of like to test out a new country, guys. And to be fair, France as well is somewhere we have not been. And as we can see, Marseille has actually got their stadium on the game. And uh, it would be a cool club to join. So let me know in the comment section, guys, what should be our next The Path Club. And we'll make our decision very soon. But uh, obviously, we are um, coming towards the end of the MLS season here. Uh, Inter Miami currently sat second in the table. If we win the next one, we are going to be first. So that is incredible. So we're just going to have to try to collect as many points as possible so we can qualify for the playoffs. And then obviously try to go all the way with this club. So let's get into it, guys. Leave a like in the video. And let's start the episode with three points. DC United with the first chance. And that is just wide. Here they are again. Wow, they've given us a tough first start to this game. Let's not go on nil down, guys. There we go. That is better. Nice. We win back the ball there. And let's uh, progress forward. Do we have any options? Let's get this one into the box. Joseph Martinez with the bicycle kick. But I don't think he would have counted anyway because it is offside. But I mean, what an attempt. That is my mistake, and now DC United, big opportunity, and they've scored it! And it all happened from my bad pass. Yes, okay, a little bit lucky, but we're still going. Sander, still going here, what a run! And the keeper cannot get near it, and we pretty much equalize instantly. What a save! Can we get it through to Martinez? Yes! Come on, here we go! Sander now, and we pass it to Ruiz! And that is almost an assist for us. But we've got a corner kick, we are dangerous from corners! Sander jumps up and... Another episode where we hit the woodwork. I think that's gonna go out for another corner kick. Come on, boys. Can we get a goal just before half time? Let's get to this one as well. And it falls almost to a teammate. Ooh, that is perfect. And we can get through here. Come on. Our stamina is starting to drop a lot, but we've gone past everyone. We give it to Martinez, and he scores it! It is not offside! And we are 2-1 up. Great comeback, and look at the fans, man. The stadium is burning. Great atmosphere. What a ball, and what a save as well from the keeper. That is incredible, a double save. They are having their keeper up for this one. Come on, can we get it out of there? And they... Oh! They scored! I thought it went over the goal, but they've actually put it in the back of the net in the 89th minute. And we are about to drop our first points with Inter Miami so far. I have to look at the replay, I cannot believe that's gone in. They even have their keeper up and everything. Let's look at this, so, I mean, I lose my duel and that barely goes in. And we are, as I said, about to drop. Is that an own goal? No way. As we can see in the top left corner, it was not an own goal. But uh, still, I should have done better. 
And he's just taken it through the legs of the player. DC United with one last opportunity. And it's the same guy as well. Scoring two goals within a couple of minutes. The Inter Miami players cannot believe it. I am shocked that has just happened. And that is how quickly football can change, guys. In the 89th minute, we were 2-1 up. Pretty much got all the points secured. But uh, this former Manchester United player has just destroyed us here at the end. I actually cannot believe that ending. One of the craziest endings we've had to a match in the whole entire series. Before the game, we would have gone number one if we won it. And right now, because of that loss, we are down to fourth. I mean, it is very close at the top here, but... That is very frustrating, guys, and we cannot keep messing up like this in many more matches or else the top six, it could be very, very difficult because there isn't that many games left before the playoffs actually begin. We can see our Norwegian teammates, uh, Östegård, has made a transfer. Also, Antonio Nusa, the uh, new European champion with Norway, who also scored a few goals in that competition, has now got his big move to Juventus. I really love that for him because... He is such a good player, and now he is recognized as one of the biggest talents in the world, so I'm happy to see my teammates get that move. Same with Östegård as well. The Norwegians are thriving, guys. No doubt about it. Anyway, up next, we've got a game against Atlanta, who is currently sat second. This is going to be another tough one, and if we lose this one as well, we might, uh, we might bottle it all. So this is very important, guys. We really have to bounce back now and get all the three points. But look! No way, am I starting the match with half a bar of stamina? What is this decision? I'm getting overplayed like crazy. We are literally slaloming past all of these guys. Come on. Come on. Oh, unlucky. Oh, what? I was looking at the top left corner and all of a sudden we have... Got a bit of a problem here. And just like that, Atalanta also takes the lead. While we're having this a bit of a uh, issue. Hopefully we're gonna recover from it. I mean we, we don't we don't indicate that we have to get subbed out, but this is what happens when you literally start me in every single game and we've just been in the Euros. We haven't actually had a break this summer. We haven't had a break in years, I just noticed. Wow. We definitely have to let the manager know at halftime that, you know, we have a bit of an issue and need to get subbed out. But um, the injury logo has disappeared, so we seem to be doing okay now. And now maybe we have a big chance. There we go. Nice touch. Keep going, Sander. We'll pass that to our teammates. But uh, he's not quick enough. We're just the 30 minutes into the first half and my stamina bar is at zero. It's so bad. It's such a bad decision though to to not rest me. I wish managers could sometimes just give you a couple of games off to get back into fitness. And Atlanta has also just taken another further extended lead. I... This is the worst game so far. Uh, normally I think I would have gotten to that ball as well. But there is just a few seconds left of this half. And yeah guys, we have to get subbed out. Let's hope for a miracle and Inter Miami to get a comeback. But uh, no. We dropped down to 5th place and I just noticed that the top 7 teams are the ones who will make it into the playoffs. So we still have a little bit of a gap here, but still, I mean, literally in the last game, we if we won it, we could have been first right now. So yeah, we have to fix that up, but um, I still think we will qualify. Thankfully, it seems like we don't have any serious injury as well, so I'm very happy about that, but I think we got lucky. We have just picked up the Player of the Month award in the MLS for uh, August, so uh, that is always nice, guys. Seems like we're winning it almost every single month, it doesn't matter where we are. So up next we've got a bit of an easier opponent, at least in terms of their uh, points. They've got uh, 28, we have 46, so you know we should be winning this one. We have uh, gotten a little bit of rest as well, but it's still not 
Oh, beautiful. Finish it. What? Wow, he's done a good job. And now Nashville. Sander does the defensive work. Now we can progress forward as well. Come on. Do we have any options? Pass it to the teammate, Perez. Come on, boys. Let's have a good start to this game. We get it back. Yes, good touch. And now, can we find a teammate? Ah, uh, my passing is still so bad. It's frustrating. Oh, yes. We get there and Joseph Martinez makes it 1-0. Oh, this is so much better from Miami now. Martinez have played really good today. Let's give that to Gomez. And then into Martinez. 40 second. No. Where is our defense? What just happened? And just like that, they make it 1-1. Our defense was non-existent. Yes, there we are. From the corner kick. We head it in. That is something that is still as good as it's always been. My headers. Come on. We can make it 3-1 just before the break. Finish! And... Wow. That power is incredible. Keeper had no chance. Come on. Oh! <laughs> We tried for a long shot. Uh, I, I do love a good long shot, as we have seen in this series. I think my record is 50 meters or something. Oh, what a turn. And here is Nashville. Are they going to get one back and make this game entertaining? Doesn't seem like it. And my passing, guys. Yeah, we... We need more rest than, uh, than what we currently have been getting. We're just not sharp at all on the ball anymore. What am I doing? Oh, we almost get there. No rebound from the keeper, but uh, just a few minutes left now of this game. And we have no energy left in the tank. But can we provide an assist? Come, Palma! And is that a penalty? I think we have a penalty, guys. We have never, never taken a penalty for Inter Miami. I don't know who's the penalty taker, but hopefully we can be the one. Because I have a pretty good record in my career of scoring penalties. So, um, yellow card for Nashville. And they're obviously going to be losing the game. Very frustrating for them, obviously. But let's see. It is Sounders stepping up for the penalty. Come on. Can we make it 4-1 and secure these three points? Sander against the keeper and that is incredible and it is time to pull out our new celebration as well get in there the game is done we pick up another match ball and uh, even though we have very low stamina and low energy we still somehow end up with a with a hat trick there's barely any fans left in this stadium and uh, now I think with these three points we pretty much have secured this uh, playoff spot because there aren't that many games left and with that result we are up to third place which is uh, incredible but the uh, guys i've had a big long talk with the manager i told him that you know even though i got the hat trick just now if you look at my overall performance it's not as sharp and good as it used to be and i mentioned that i haven't had a break in in years it feels like because obviously because of the scheduling we were in the indian super league they have a different scheduling to the rest then in the summer, when, you know, you're supposed to have a break, it was the Euros. And then just two, af two days after the Euros, we went to the MLS because they have a season in the middle of the summer. So we need a holiday, guys. And because we have qualified right now, me and the manager have agreed that I'm going to take a few weeks off. And we are going to be getting ourselves a break, guys. And we're going to be coming back for this one, which is going to be against Columbus away. So we just have to feature in two more games and then after that, you know, it is the playoff time. So uh, let's see how the team does without me. But it's going to be very nice to have, you know, a few days off finally. As we can see, they won their first game 2-1. Then two draws in a row. And the next game was another draw against the Red Bulls. So we are still, obviously, 
um, you know, on the uh, top six spot. We are actually fourth. And actually, I was on holiday with Neymar. We went to his house in Brazil and we had a great time together. So uh, you can see a little bit of a footage from it here. But uh, yeah, we really needed that break, guys. And now we're going to be back to our best, I'm pretty sure. Obviously, we haven't been playing matches, so we need a couple of good training sessions to uh, get back uh, in it. And for the next game against Columbus, we get subbed in in the 58th minute. We are 1-0 up as well. So let's get right into this one, guys. And um, I'm excited now to uh, have the playoffs starting in uh, just a couple of weeks. It feels incredible to have a full stamina bar. I haven't seen this in ages. And look at this. We are... Look, a completely new player, and the shot is straight at the goalie, but my pace is back. If you're noticing who's our captain, by the way, in this game, it is Busquets. He is still playing. I wonder how old he is, but uh, it actually said he was going to retire at the end of the season. I think after this match, we will see uh, what his rating is, but he just got subbed out. I mean, what a legend. Incredible that we've gotten the chance to play with him in his uh, last uh, season. And obviously, because he doesn't rely on pace either, you know, the age isn't that much of a worry. But now, I mean, he must be in his 40s. Look at Sander, though. We are so sharp right now. It's unbelievable, but my finishing isn't as sharp because we haven't been playing matches. Ooh, that is wonderful. The skill moves are as sharp as they've ever been. Good turn. Here we go. Let's try to pay the pass. And then we get it back. And my finishing, guys. It's, it's so bad right now. Columbus are pushing for uh, one more chance. Which means if we can get the ball now, we will have lots of space. And can maybe get a big chance to score. Come on. Yes, that is what I'm talking about. And now, with our pace, we should be through on goal here. But obviously, we have to beat the keeper. And... Are you joking? He's actually saved that one. Not sure why it didn't go with my uh, Trivela technique. But from the corner, we are back, guys. Inter Miami make it 2-0. And that is for sure game over. Nice header. My headers are always good. I think we have the best head in world football. Absolutely unbelievable. And now just a few seconds left. Come on, referee. And after this one, obviously, we have just one more game before it is time for playoffs. So, uh, come on. There we go. Game over. Good results. I really want to have a look at how old Busquets is because uh, I was a little bit surprised that he's still playing. He is 40 years old and, as we can see, 67 rated. But he is the captain of this team. And it did say that he was going to retire at the end of the season, so... I mean, what a career for him, and um, as I said, just just a big privilege that I'm even able to uh, to play with him at, at one stage. So, that is uh, incredible, guys. Drop a like on this video for Sergio Busquets. We are almost ready to, get, uh, to be back in the starting 11. I'm sure after this game, we will be back in starting for those playoffs games, but this is the last one. We get subbed in with 30 minutes left at the scoreline, nil-nil. So, um, yeah, guys, let's finish the job and um, end it with a victory. No way! The first thing that happens is that we go 1-0 down. We do not want to lose this game going into the playoffs and have like bad confidence or something. I haven't even touched the ball yet. What a way to start the game, for me at least. Come on. Oh my god! That is the most Brexit tackle I've ever seen. And he's not even British. I mean, did you see he just jumped and went two-footed in? Why? That has to be personal. Yes, there we go. And now Sander is 3-1 goal. Up against the keeper and finishes it in the corner. Oh no! Just like that, they make it 2-1. Our defending is a shambles. No. This is so bad. At home as well, guys. This is very concerning. 
Okay, he won it back, and now come on, oh, you gotta finish it! Anyone? Yes, okay, we finally get the goal, but I think it is too late. Come on, yes, one more chance. There's the 30 seconds left, come on, oh. Looks for Santer, and it almost goes through. But that is the end of the game, guys, and we lose the last game 3-2 at home, so we have to step it up if we want to make it further in this competition. In the last episode when we got to the MLS, I said that imagine if I can overtake the top scorers when they have like 20 more matches played than me. So let's see if we are here at the top scorer list. And we're actually sat 10th with 15 goals in 12 matches. So still, we have a chance guys to, uh, you know, go all the way up top with so many less games played than the rest of these players. That would be a big achievement and um, yeah, I really want to try to achieve that. But uh, now, guys, we have playoff time. This is going to be against NY uh, or New York City FC. Let's go into the standings. This is round number one. And I believe we're going to be starting with a game here against uh, a team in the same conference as us in the next round. I don't know. That might change up. Um, actually, yeah, I'm actually not too sure how this works. But anyway, what I know is that we have to win every single game and then, you know, try to make it to the final. So... There is um, quite a few teams here, but shortly that will be, um, you know, just a few left. And I'm excited, guys, for this uh, run in birthday preparation as well. Decide how you want to spend your special day. I mean, maybe because we are in America, we can finally have a bit of a party. The Ballon d'Or shortlist for 2028 is here. Who is going to be lifting it? And obviously, I'm not expecting to be here because we have obviously been in... The Indian Super League and the MLS. You cannot be winning the Ballon d'Or. Even if we put up crazy numbers. And even though we won that competition with Norway. You know. It's because of the leagues. We, we, we cannot be, be winning this uh, this season. I already knew that. So it's going to go to either Holland and Bappe, Martinez, Vinicius Jr. We will have to wait and see who wins that one guys. But hopefully. You know. Next year maybe. We, uh, we can finally be on that list. And, and actually get this. Trophy which you have been dreaming about this so much, but yeah guys that is it for this episode I'm really excited for the next one to find out if we can win the MLS with Inter Miami But that is it for this time. I will see you very soon